Hey guys, welcome to my farm here in Alma, Missouri in Farming Simulator 22. Now you know we have a couple other farms going, you know, one in Candelin in Germany, one in Baldekina in Russia, and I also like to do some farming here. And so I figure we can jump around and do some farming here and there. And what I want to do here in Alma, Missouri is I want to try, and we're going to do a different format for the videos here in this series. So here, now I've been working on this farm for a while. This has been my farm for quite a while. And... There's some things that need to be taken care of around on the farm. So what we're going to do is I'm going to break some of that up into separate videos and we'll still have the videos in Candelin and also in Baldekina here and there. And I want to have these likely shorter videos kind of in between. So different kind of farm. They're all different kind of farms, you know, in Candelin doing right now kind of contract work and stuff like that. And there's more videos of that to come, of course, in Baldekina. We're doing pigs and livestock feeding well with the pigs and working towards cultivating a farm that's based around producing our own pig food and stuff like that. And here in Alma, Missouri, this is the cattle farm. And right now there is a lot of work that needs to be done. So let me take you around the farm a bit. I'm going to show you what kind of work needs to be done. Just uh, imagine walking into this farm and uh, I'd have to hire about 10 farm hands to work with this. And they probably half of them would quit on me when they see how much work there is to do. So what we're going to do is I'm going to show you guys some of the stuff that we're, we're going to be doing around here on the farm. Some of the stuff I have to take care of this month of August. I mean, here we are on the 1st of August. Um, so yeah, let's take a look at some of the work we got to do. Now, right now I got the big tractor and the grain cart. That's because one of the things we're doing is harvesting the wheat field over here. So there's a couple things I want to take you through here. And I'll have these in probably separate videos covering the month of August in Alma, Missouri. Here is one heck of a mess in this grass field here, the alfalfa field. Our alfalfa field is an absolute, just seriously hot mess. Let me hop out of the tractor here. So, uh, Alma, Missouri, this is my uh, Case International farm. So, yeah, this is all mostly Case IH equipment you can see here. I'm trying to keep uh, some different themes throughout the farms. This, is, this farm is very American. There's nothing about this farm. That is, uh, well, yeah, this is one of the best, just most American, American maps there is. And uh, so this is our Case IH farm. So here in our alfalfa field, troubles abound as, uh, well, I didn't get to it last month. And so the alfalfa has already started to grow, which is, this is just going to be a problem for a couple months. This has happened before. The alfalfa has started to grow. And here I have grass, um, alfalfa grass that needs to be picked up it's kind of like many things here in the farm half done i mean yeah seriously should hire some work, fire farm hands to work here uh you can see in the distance there there's some bales i've started to bale some of it and i think somewhere i have a forage wagon yeah over there by the other tractor we'll we'll get to that um so this needs to be picked up some of it bailed some of it picked up in the forage wagon right now let's head down here to the wheat field. The wheat field is kind of mid-harvest right now. See, there's a lot of things that are half-finished and going on at the same time, and that's why I thought it'd be fun to break this up into separate parts, covering the month of August here in Missouri. Now, this is our cornfield, and it's not going to be ready to harvest for a, a couple months, which is good because we need to buy time to do this stuff because it's a pretty decent-sized cornfield right there. And that cornfield is part of the bread and butter of this farm. This farm's all about cattle and producing uh, cornbread. We are a major cornbread producer in the area. I've been playing here on Alma for quite a while, and it's time to pick that up and get with our cornbread production, take care of our cattle. Now, so of the many things going on, the cornfield harvest will be uh, coming up in a couple months, and still haven't shown you everything that's going on. I'm just getting this parked over here by the harvester. So yeah, this is the wheat field we're working with. And so it's kind of, it's sitting here kind of half done, needing to be harvested the rest of the way. And of course, a lot of straw here that needs to be dealt with as well. So that's some of the stuff going on here. Tell me guys what you think about this farm here. And yeah, I'm going to see if this new uh, format works for these episodes. So be sure to tell me what you think. And also be sure to subscribe to the channel. If you're watching this video, then why not hit the subscribe button? It would really help the channel out a lot. It really helps out a lot when people subscribe. Uh, so thanks so much. I appreciate that. So here we got this going on in this field. And uh, so we've got the grass field over there. We've got this field, which, yeah, you know, it's half harvested. The straw needs to be picked up, things like that. 
Uh, let's see, uh, the alfalfa over there, and let's see what else we've got going on. All right, I caught a ride into town here in Alma. Here we are in Alma, out back of the shop, and among other things, uh, something else that needs to be done. Some of our equipment needs to be sorted and moved around and rearranged. Here I have a new planter sitting at the store still, and our spraying vehicle has been here for maintenance, and it looks like I need to take it back to the farm. It's been sitting here. There's just some general maintenance things to be done with the fleet of vehicles. That's yet another thing. We've got to deal with a lot of this. A lot of the equipment has been sitting out because I've been working on various pieces of it and things like that. we got to sort through with the equipment. So that's another, uh, that'll be a video there. We'll be uh, toiling with that. And then our cornbread production, which is over here. This is the mill over here. And we have a full load of corn flour sitting here waiting to be delivered to the bakery, which is down there. But that's, this is, this can be like an all day task too. Moving these pallets with our truck here. And we might want to look into a new way to do that because moving them, um, moving pallets four at a time in the truck gets a little uh, tired, especially as the farm gets bigger. Um, need a faster way to move it but anyway yeah so we have corn flour just stacked up at the mill waiting to be moved to the bakery and then other things of course then we get to the yeah the other things so here we are back at the farm and let's see well we got the forage wagon i'm gonna park this forage wagon over by the alfalfa field but yeah i mentioned the equipment and some of the equipment is put away but a lot of it is really just kind of sitting everywhere uh, and the fleet really needs a good once over and uh, I need to kind of make sure some stuff is good enough to snuff So yeah, let's go ahead and tow this out to the grass field here. It doesn't matter if we trample it because uh, Well, I'm just gonna park it here by the side of the field. It's gonna get trampled anyway Is the thing because I let it grow for a month without uh, dealing with the swaths of grass that are there Let's go ahead and drop this off here and Let's go take a here let's go take a tour and see some of the other things they need doing around here i got a baler here well for baling grass we're also going to need that out on the wheat field so that's going to stay out now over here with the cattle so this farm is uh yeah it's corn and cattle corn for uh corn flour cattle so that we can make butter to go in our cornbread this is an all-american farm here this is definitely an all-american farm now our cattle are doing pretty good but one thing I'd like to do is, I, this is another task I'm going to deal with in this series of videos as we work through this in August, is uh, I want to bolster our cattle numbers and make sure they're well taken care of. And right now, there's just a scattered bunch of tasks that need to be done for our cows. As of right now, I have the one bunker silo. It's over here. And everything here is in disarray, just as it is everywhere else on the farm. <laughs> so, yeah, here we are at my farm in Alma, and everything is in kind of disarray. Uh, you may have seen this in my video on taking care of cows. This is the same farm, and it's a farm I've been running for a while. Now, uh, over here, we just got just some silage and some hay and straw and, and grass sitting over here, just in random bales that needs to be done something with. Over here in the silo, you can see, yep, I'm literally right in the middle of <laughs> working through some of this. Basically, if a stranger were to roll in here, not knowing what's going on, it just kind of looks like aliens came in and basically abducted all the farm personnel and just left everything half finished as we have a loader out here with a load of silage and it's just abandoned everything. It looks like there's a perfectly functioning farm, which there is, but all the people are just kind of missing. They've all been abducted, I guess. Well, uh, yeah, I got involved in a lot of things at once and I think this will be a fun way to clear things up because this is another task right here. So here we've got a bunker silo, got some silage in it, but it needs to be moved out and thrown into some TR TMR mix to get it out of the way because this bunker silo is about to get its fill of grass once we clear up the alfalfa field down there. So this needs to be clear to make room for that. And I do need to check on the state of the cattle. So basically, things we have to do around here, we've got the wheat field, we need to finish up harvesting that and deal with the straw. The alfalfa field needs to be dealt with that whole mess there and it being half finished and everything. And well, we need to deal with this right here. We need to deal with the equipment. And well, I guess this does kind of go with the cattle. I was gonna say in the cattle, but this kind of goes with that. So there's a lot to do here. Now, is there anything? Yeah, there is something I need to get at the store. So take a drive with me down to the store. We can go ahead and uh, I'm gonna get down there and hook up to that planter and uh, well, 
yeah, that's some of the stuff to take care of here. Now, if you guys haven't seen Alma, Missouri, this is a really beautiful place and definitely a very, very American map. It's a very American map. And uh, it, it's fun to farm in different regions of the world. And one, you know, there's always something I like about farming in different places, something I miss when, you know, when I get back to those certain places. And one thing I always miss when I come back to an American farm is I love the long, straight, wide roads. <laughs> of course, there's this one curve in this one here, but generally speaking, uh, back roads in America are long and straight and wide and the big open fields. And that's definitely something that you get here. There's a lot of great production and stuff going on here. And uh, in the uh, video, when we get, oh yeah, that's the other, there, there'll also be a video on that. I so said there's the wheat field, the alfalfa field, the cattle, the vehicle fleet. The other thing we have to do, of course, yes, our cornbread production. I need to get back. I need to get it back on track, especially as this is kind of it's, this is kind of a busy time of year. But just because it's a busy time of year, well, we still have the cornbread production. You know, the grain mill and the bakery are still cranking out products. Just because I'm busy with stuff on the farm here in late summer, it doesn't mean things have slowed down any at our production in town, and things definitely haven't slowed down there. One other thing I've been looking at is as our cattle increases, as we get more cattle, there's a great spot to have a cattle farm right up here on the corner to the right. We've got a big field here of cattle, and this will soon be part of our farm as well, though I can't say exactly when. I haven't checked into, de into the details yet, but this would be a great place to expand our, our cattle. So if we head up here, I'm going to head up here and we'll end this video up here. So what we'll have is in the coming parts, once I get up here to the store, I'm going up here to attach a planter and take it back to the farm. So I'll, I figure over the month of August, instead of having super long videos, we'll have short videos doing basic things around the farm. We'll have one for each of these, each of these tasks. That's the goal anyway. I want to see how that works. You guys feel free to tell me what you think down in the comments below. But I need to get here and uh, get back to work on some of this as there's just so much to get done. There's so much to get done. And when I looked at making this episode, I thought to myself, wow, yeah, it is truly overwhelming. And I'll run myself ragged trying to do all this stuff at once. So I thought it'd be fun if we break some of this stuff up. And uh, yeah, that's a lot of forklift driving over there. <laughs> Those pallets, that's a lot of forklift driving. I'd like to look into a different system with, uh, we had that little box truck, which is great for moving four pallets at a time. But it'd be great to find a way, and we will, to more effectively deliver our product and produce it here for our, the residents of Missouri, where our farm's at, and get them the, the uh, cornbread that is so popular, well, that has made this farm so popular in the area. Well, guys, thanks so much for following along, and I'll catch you guys in a, well, yeah, a video coming up here in Alma, Missouri, as well as, of course, also... Uh, videos coming from Kendallin as we tackle through the harvest contracts uh, in the fall and winter there. It's, it's kind of heading, if, well, it's kind of winter there already. You'll see at the next video there. It may, it may be November and we're deep in harvest, but we're also kind of deep in snow. So you'll see what happens there. And then it's also harvest time right now in Baldacana. Anyway, guys, thanks so much for following along. Again, don't forget to subscribe if you're uh, watching the video and like it. Tell me what you think below and click that subscribe button and help support the channel as I try to grow the subscriber numbers. Uh, it really helps out a lot. Thanks, guys, a lot for watching. And tell me what you want to see next. There's so much here to do. And so I'll catch you guys in the following videos. Thanks a lot.